guess what? It's time to talk about the holiday already. Um, yeah, the week around Halloween is when I start talking about the holiday because it does take a little bit of preparation. Um, and I want to talk about how to create a really delightful holiday. You know, what can you do to make it better this year? make it easier on yourself. And I find that using the streamlined system framework, my dream delight, I'm sorry, that's the wrong order. <laughs> it's one of those days, huh? Okay. It is dream, declutter, design, develop, and delight. And I just want to go over what this really means for um, those of you that are not familiar. But when we start with dreaming about the holiday, what I mean is actually take some time to sit down and think about what does the holiday mean for you? What is it about holidays you love? What do you not like? Um, what could you do without that happened last year? You know, what just really explore what the meaning of the holiday for you is. Is it family and friends? Is it more spiritual? Is it um, running up your debt and giving a bunch of gifts? Is it making things magical for the kids? What is the holiday about for you? You start there and then you match all the tasks and items to that dream instead of thinking that the things you bring in are going to magically make it exactly what you want. You have to start with creating it yourself from the inside out, as it were. Um, so once you've done that, it's time to declutter. And by declutter, I mean that once you know what didn't work last year, make the decision. Is it going to go away or is it going to be adjusted for this year? Actually look at your holiday decorations. What's worn out? What needs to go? What makes things more complicated? Um, what's a pain in the butt to store between <laughs> holidays? What... Um, what clashes, you know, do you have a theme? My favorite thing is to, to think about a theme when we're designing, but the first thing to do is declutter. And that means the decor, the actual things you're going to participate in the gift wrapping. How are you going to minimize that a little bit? Um, the food, how are you going to make sure the food you bring into the holidays is good and ready to go is Time to stock up on baking supplies already. Go through the pantry, declutter that. Um, do you need to purchase any new um, baking things to make the baking process or the cooking process easier this year? I'm saying start with what you already have and then make that list of what seems to be missing or what could enhance things. Um, so once you have a good idea of all that, what you have on hand, what you're going to need instead, it's time to actually do a little plan. So we're in the designing thing. What, what can be the theme? Is there a way to make things easier? I've talked about for years how I only have silver, blue, and clear glass ornaments. That way, when I'm distracted by Santas and snowmen and reindeer, I can say, hmm, it doesn't really fit into my theme. I prefer having blue and silver and clear. And so it it can give a little bit of constraint so you know where you can just appreciate things in the store and leave them be. Um, it also makes things easier when you're buying backups or replacements during the sales to know what actually will work again next year. Um, and you can carry that over to all kinds of things. I do only a certain kind of cookies and I have the same recipes and food I prepare every year for the meals. And so it makes it much easier. I know exactly what to expect and what I need to do it. And for a couple of years, it took a little extra effort and now it's really easy. It's not even st more stressful than making a regular um, Sunday dinner for friends and family. So um, think about that. How can you make it easier? less cleaning, less dusting, less storing in between. Um, hang on. I had another idea I was going to bring up there and I want to make sure what I have. Um, the events you agree to participate in. Um, maybe you don't continue participating in certain school or church activities once the kids are past a certain age, you know, 
various pageants and recitals and things like that. Maybe you stop volunteering to do things and take on a new thing that you would, that would be a better fit for what you, you are into now. Um, and just think about that. How can you also design your schedule to make it flow more easily? What are you going to let go of so you have more time to make puzzles or play games or hike? What is it you would like to do? Um, and I want to say this. Uh, this is kind of crazy, but <laughs> it's not actually that crazy. It's a great tip. It's a tip I've been giving for years, and I just really wanted to point it out here in, in this forum as well. And that's the gift wrap. If you give more experiences than actual things. You don't really need as much gift wrap and you probably have gobs of gift wrap. Every one of my clients has gobs and gobs of gift wrap. Birthdays, Batman, Star Wars, graduation, holidays from the past, um, and then lots of plain stuff. What if this year you just vowed to use up all the extra gift wrap laying around the house and had an eclectic Christmas? Wouldn't that be fun? Buy no gift wrap. See what you can do. See how creative you can get with the containers and boxes and bags and things you have stored around the house already. It's a thought. Just maybe, you know, less impact with the um, gift wrap. But again, what was your original dream of what the holidays would be like for you? Maybe you're an all-in Christmas kind of person or an all-in Thanksgiving kind of person. Make that work for you as well. Just you know, I'm give, I'm throwing out some hints to make things simpler. Fewer ornaments, fewer decor, um, even cleaner um, table displays. You know, like maybe you don't need a whole separate set of dishes that are Christmas. Maybe you need one that is a little bit fancier than your regular and you switch out just candles and linens for um, green and red or blue and silver in my case. What would make it faster, easier, and more pleasant for you to deal with the holidays, right? Um, okay, so we've now designed it and we've developed a schedule and a bit of a plan, but also it's time to develop your processes. Develop is about the systems and the habits. So as you figure out how you're going to decorate, make it easier for next year as well while you do it toss the old ornaments that are broken or in the way or don't quite reach the right plug <laughs> or where you put your tree, you know, all those kinds of things get taken into effect, into account this year when you are doing the, the um, designing and developing the habits and the, your processes for the holiday, right? This is your time to set policies and procedures for your own household about what's going to happen. Um, and then the last step is to delight in the results. Now that you have these things, you might have a spectacular Christmas display. You might have a very simple Christmas display. And that can be spectacular too. Just do it on your terms. Um, and don't fall for other people's expectations. Um, you know, it's a good idea to start developing your own boundaries around what, what's appropriate in, in your house um, for what how much, uh, how often, how expensive you want to make your holidays. So again, it's all connected. You get to decide, but stick with that decision. Stop just buying extra because you see something new and cool and you're going to add it to the pile. That's my point. It's about considered consumerism in um, light of a spiritual time of year. It is our time to go in and look a little deeper inside in the winter. We're resetting and it's time to um, get prepared for that in the fall. We start paring down so that we can reset for the new year. All right. Hope this helped. Um, I will see you next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to follow, like, share, subscribe, um, check out all the stuff on the um, website, morethanorganized.net, and have a delightful day.